right so now we understand the key elements of a web page for the interaction or the ones which are called web objects or web elements so here are the list of web objects in all the applications so any application should consist of all these web objects or some of these web elements so it could be edit box link button image image link and image button text area checkbox radio button drop down list so any application has to consist all of these or some of these it is important that you understand the web elements first okay now we understand the web elements and then the tool has to somehow interact and identify these web elements it's not just enough that we know the web elements the tool has to understand and understand the difference between what is edit box and what is link and what is button that particular button i mean to say so there could be 10 buttons but tool has to click that particular button tool has to click that particular link tool has to uh, in this example both of these are edit boxes but tool has to know uh, this is for username and this is for password and how that is going to happen is with the help of object locators or object identifiers so there are eight locators over here what we see id name class name tag name link text partial link text css locator and xpath i'm not going to explain in detail what are all these we are going to learn over the time as we progress through the course so let me show you a few object locators just for the sake for the completion of this uh, particular chapter so if you just right click on any web element or web object and select inspect there you will see this web element or object is identified by this html tag so you should know the basics of html and what are the tags in HTMLs. Uh, just go through any link and try to read some some of it so that you will understand betterly before you proceed for automation but inside these html tags you are noticing this is your id so this particular web element is identifiable by this id this name this type so similarly this particular web element is identified by this id called text password name as text password so similarly this web element is identified by id again uh, the class is of type button it is a submit type the name is submit the value is login so you see uh, these are the sum of identifier object identifiers few of the eight object identifiers id class name the name so this is uh, these are what called the object identifiers uh, if you just see uh, let us type this one this id over here so i search for this one and it is showing there are two matches uh, one is this one i pressed on enter again and there is another here there are two objects which are matching this condition having this name but having this name under id is only one and that is that is this particular web element so that means this object identifier or object locator use is unique for this web element in this entire page that means we can use this object identifier and the tool will use this object identifier to locate this particular web element and then do an action on it which is click action in this case so this these are the concepts behind the automation so these are web elements and these are object identifiers